why have I started training for an ultra? And why specifically Crazy Mountain 100? Well, the big reason why I want to do that race is uh, what I've been telling everybody is I want to wear a belt buckle. And, um, you know, I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and as I progressed out west and started living out west, you know, my attire, the clothes I wear every day, is starting to change and more of a western style. And I want to start wearing a belt buckle whenever I tuck in my shirt. And to buy a belt buckle is kind of like not that cool. So the best way to wear one is to win one. And so the big reason, the big fake reason why I've decided to run ultras is because out west when you complete a race, so you just have to complete it, 100 mile race, you get a fancy belt buckle and you win it. You don't buy it, you win that belt buckle. And the more serious reason why I have decided to start training for an ultra or ultras, the uh, commitment to train for an ultra is not just a, a whim of an idea. You actually have to train for these ultras and um, that's to, uh, let's say, put structure back into my life. Um, you know, for many, many years, I was a pretty serious college, high school athlete and so every day a few hours of every day was spent a few hours or more spent dedicated towards that sport whether it be morning workouts lifts or morning drill sessions and afternoon you know main practice sessions or if it was running so i ran cross country too in high school and college morning runs evening runs and stuff like that so um you know to bring a little bit of to bring back more structure in my life and to have a little more discipline in my life. As I get older, um, I thought maybe uh, sheep shearing would keep me in shape, but as you progress in sheep shearing, you get better in sheep shearing. Uh, you don't burn as many calories, and uh, you know the uh, typical sheep shearing atmosphere is you know uh, shear shear all day, hang out and drink beer in the trailer around the trailer. It's like a moving caravan of of uh of like kind of the carny life oh i've never lived the carny life so i wouldn't know but you know it's go from ranch to ranch shear sheep drink beer stuff like that if you choose to usually the rancher wants to drink beer and catch up with the shear and um so anyways i thought maybe the sheep shearing life would bring that discipline and and uh the structure but uh when you're living on the road it's really hard to have structure on the road so um i figured if I'm going to start running ultras, you, I have to train every day or have consistent training. And also, as I get older and experience more life, I try to live honestly and be an honest person. And it gets harder. I mean, it's hard. You know, when I was younger, wrestling and cross country uh, was kind of like my outlet for the um, disruptive family life I had growing up. Divorced parents, one parent says one thing. You don't know who's telling the truth and so on and so forth. So how I handled that was wrestling and cross country. And you know, as you progress in life, you know, life pressures and, and uh, stresses and drama, you know, a good outlet for everything is lifting weights and exercise. So that's another reason. And um, you know, not saying that lifting weights and exercising is gonna save all of your life problems, but it's gonna help you manage them better so back to recap of why I I have decided to train for ultras specifically oh I've yet to answer the question why crazy mountain 100 so I follow a dude on Instagram uh, he's a, a repeat guest on the Joe Rogan experience which I like to watch and so that's how I discovered who he was um, Cam Haynes so I followed Cam Haynes on Instagram and he did this ultra in Montana called the Crazy Mountain 100. So it's called the Crazy Mountain because the mountain range is called the Crazy Mountains. And matter of fact, I've sheared sheep around that area in Montana. So it's like, heck, you know, let's do it. And when I saw that he was there and it was the last weekend in July, I figured, and it was after, it was after the race I saw that he did it one year preparation for that race should do should 
put me in a good boat to compete in it and accomplish it. It's no easy race. It's a very hard race. It's so hard that it cannot be your first ultra. So part of the process of training for this ultra is to run another ultra and um, to like a qualifying ultra. So it's like the regionals to the nationals kind of. Anyway, so that's why I chose Crazy Mountain 100 because of the, because of the difficulty and because Cam Haynes runs it in, it's in Montana. Kind of like in my home area where I've grown accustomed to all the places that I've shorn. So that's another reason, or that's, that's, that's why I've chosen um, uh, Crazy Mountain 100. And uh, so to back up a little bit now, you know, to recap of you know, my goals and or of why I've decided to do it. So number one is the belt buckle. Get that belt buckle. Number two, bring discipline and structure back into my life. And three, man, life is just tough right now. For me, anyways, I'm sure that, uh, you know, you gotta let, let out some steam, you know, fight that, you know, in the words of David Goggins, those inner demons, can't let them win, stay hard. Um, and, uh, oh, butt buckle, structure, discipline, you know, a release, Cam Haynes did it. And then the last reason why I need a change in my life is because uh, I'm 32 years old now. Um, the power of youth is fading away from me. I don't think it has completely left me, but before it does completely leave me, I wanna set my body, my life, and a structured routine where um, I will maintain my strength and endurance and longevity into the later years of my life. Because I like to tell people, tell people I'm going through a second puberty. Um, you know, first puberty, you're growing up, you know, getting big, big muscles, your voice changes and stuff like that. Second puberty, I, it's a joke. Second puberty is uh, your diet changes, your metabolism changes, you can't eat certain foods anymore. Like, I love spicy food, but if I eat spicy food, I have to make sure my schedule is open the next day for uh, the consequences of eating spicy food. And you know, I don't quite recover like I used to. If I were to fall down, I kind of just lay there a little bit, you know, double check my body, you know, make, make, make sure everything's okay. You know, I don't just bounce off the ground like I used to. So, um, and uh, you know, having a little extra body fat in certain places because I don't want to change my diet is a problem and so on and so forth. So that's the last reason is uh, body's changing, I'm losing my youth. I need to develop good routines and good habits. So belt buckle, discipline, outlet, campaigns, and a daily life routine of training every single day. And that is why I've decided to train for an ultra and to continue training for ultras for years to come. And the goal is Crazy Mountain 100. Cam Haynes, I'm gonna beat you. Just kidding. But, you know, I look forward to seeing you in the crowd. Maybe I can run next to you like how you ran next to, um, what's that guy's name? Lance, I think. Lance Armstrong, just kidding, I know who he is. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching that video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other channel. And also don't forget to check out my store too where you can see my photos, I, where you can see my photography and see the photos that I've taken. All right, see you later.